Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another video from Tall Travels. Uh, so today I'm going to do a supermarket video. So I'm here in the city of Bath in the UK. Now Bath gets a lot of tourists so I'm sure there's a lot of people uh, out there that are interested in the prices here in the UK at the moment because of course um, we have inflation like everywhere so prices are generally going up. So let's go and have a look inside and see what's what. So yeah guys, like I was saying, uh, Bath gets a lot of tourists but also students, so I'm sure there's a lot of uh, students that might be interested to know how much things cost in Sainsbury's here. And we also have uh, refugees from the Ukraine maybe in Bath, I don't know how many of those there are. You ready to go shopping? All right, guys, here we go. We're in the fruit section at the moment. A bag of four apples, one pound fifty. And here we've got some like tropical fruits. Pineapple, mango, a little box of mango there, two pound fifty. Ooh, some reduced blueberries, 99 pence, not bad. Okay, now guys, we're in the steak section. A 30 days matured steak, eh? £4.80. Yeah, prices are going up a bit. A half a kilogram pack of beef mints is £3.20. I tell you what, guys, don't you just hate it when you get the wobbly shopping trolley? This now everybody, there's a lot of uh, bachelors in the UK, so you'll find a lot of ready meals. When I'm in Eastern Europe, one thing I really miss is bacon. So yeah, it's a bacon paradise here in the UK. And sausage. British people love sausages. So yeah, for a pack of sausages, just under two pounds. Now we're at the rotisserie section. Get a cooked chicken there, £5.75. Some manky looking pizzas. Now everybody, one thing that I notice is getting more expensive in this country is butter. I mean look, £5 for a little tub of butter, wow. Now Ukrainians, if you're watching, there's plenty of lard in the UK to go with your borscht, so don't worry. Okay guys, now we're in the milk section. This trolley is very, very difficult to steer. Uh, yeah, so we're in the milk section. Let's look at the prices. Oh, this is what I have usually, lacto, lactose-free milk. One litre, two pounds. Let's look at normal milk. Uh, can't quite see. How much this milk costs okay so here we've got three liters of milk for three pounds or two pints of milk here for one pound 45 now that's one thing i noticed that is cheap here orange juice 69 pence for orange juice it's very good it's probably not the best quality but still or if you want the fancy stuff, you've got Tropicana and that's two pounds. Half a kilo of pasta here. One pound or almost one pound, 95p. We need Chinese people coming to Bath and we've got plenty of Chinese type food. Noodles. Noodles, sauces. They also sell some non-food stuff here. Look at this. 23 pounds for a cup, wow. Now, to any Chinese people watching this video, when you come to the UK, you're welcome to buy chocolate and it won't go against your social credit score. Isn't that great? But you know, guys, a lot of governments around the world are following the Chinese playbook, so maybe soon there will be a social credit score in this country. Wow, well, check it out, everybody. Ukrainian vodka. So it's on offer at the moment, so maybe people don't like it, I don't know, but Nemirov is good stuff. 
now in um, the UK we have a lot of Polish people so you'll see a lot of Polish products I think this is Polish Krupnik vodka or vodka as they say £11.50 for that little bottle it's a bit expensive but I suppose it's imported from EU this is uh, something I really like uh, these little packs of rice only takes two minutes to cook and it's very cheap there's some even cheaper ones here but they're sold out now everybody one thing that's definitely cheaper than a lot of countries that I go to is tuna so tuna here four pound twenty for four cans that's about a pound a can that's really good I think now British people have got a love affection with baked beans for some reason I don't know why I have them sometimes but not that often 80p there for a can of baked beans now another thing that British people eat a lot of is uh, crisps every flavor of crisp under the sun here and I notice they're getting expensive I mean I don't buy them very often but £2.25 for that little pack of hula hoop seems very expensive indeed this trolley is giving me serious <laughs> problems it won't go straight Okay, everybody, one tube of Pringles, two pounds, not too bad. If you're coming to this country and you need a SIM card, look, 99p for a SIM card from any of the networks. Now, a lot of cereals. Oh, this is something I have every morning. Porridge oats, so two pounds 75, not bad. Or you can get the cheap ones, a smaller pack for 65 pence. 705 grams of mayonnaise is three pounds a bit expensive one thing i think that's going up in price around the world is coffee wow look at this nescafe gold five pound fifty and they're saying it's on special offer so normally it's seven pound thirty even the normal cheap stuff is four pounds now British people drink a lot of tea of course, so you've got every type of tea under the sun here. Lady Grey, six pounds, seems expensive to me. Oh, well, we've got some more normal tea bags here, 240 tea bags for four pound 80, that's all right. So that works out at two pence a bag. There you go, big tube of Colgate total, £3.50. Now I found out how to work this trolley, you have to push it sideways for it to work. <laughs> oh, look, a guy in pink trousers, very nice. Now if you're coming to the UK then you're going to have to shave, I'm afraid, so... This is the price of razor blades. You can get these ones disposable, that seems pretty good. Three pounds for a pack of four. Now everybody, we're moving into the booze section. So let's have a look. Okay, the biggest bottle of Jack Daniels there, 33 pounds. Or a little one for 17. The small one seems better value to me. Absolute vodka. How much is that? One litre, 20 pounds. We've got loads of craft beer here. Average price for craft beer seems to be about three pounds. Pretty pricey. Oh, we've got another aisle of booze here, because of course the Brits love their booze. We've got loads of wine here. We've got some cheap stuff there. 75 centiliters, £4.50. More beer. Stella Artois beer, £4.60 for four cans. 440 milliliter cans, so they're small cans. Cider, I do like cider. Two pounds. 
Another Isle of Booze here, everybody. Wine galore. Now, one thing worth talking about is that um, I find the UK to be actually pretty cheap for food shopping compared to a lot of other countries I go to. I mean, I've been to some much poorer countries than the UK and the prices are almost about the same. But the one uh, notable thing about the UK is there's a lot of GMO uh, food in this country. For example, I buy some vegetables here in the UK and they can last a week or more. But in Eastern Europe, somewhere like Serbia or Ukraine, you have to use it within two days or that's it. Okay, everybody, so we're in the bread section now and we can see a loaf of bread. One here, one pound forty-five, not bad. Well, they do little loaves as well. Some of this bread is organic, some isn't. And here we've got bread that isn't fresh. And uh, one pound twenty-five, that's all right. Or if you're on a budget, then you can get a loaf here for 85 pence. I do need some bread today, actually. Which one should I have? This one looks nice. Oh, it's too small. Now, of course, these days, a lot of uh, supermarkets have an online shopping option, but I never do that because I'm always happy to be getting out of the house and doing something, getting some exercise. A lot of people in this country, a lot of frozen food. Yeah, so I don't eat a lot of frozen food, to be honest, because I'm going shopping so often that I don't need to. Fish fingers. Now the price of fish in the UK has gone up a lot, because what a lot of people in this country don't realize is a lot of their white fish actually comes from Russia. So cards, haddock, flatfish, that kind of thing. So those kind of fishes have uh, gone up in price here, especially in fish and chip shops. Wow, it got really expensive. We've got Linda McCartney sausages. How about no? Here we are in the detergent section. Wow, look at that. A bag of washing pods, 12 pounds. That's expensive, 39 washers. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, they're using sneaky tricks in supermarkets to uh, hide the inflation. Like this bottle of fairy is one pound. You think, wow, that's pretty cheap, but the bottles are getting smaller and smaller. And that's the same for a lot of products, I notice. I think in the future, Mars bars are going to be this size, but they'll be the same price. <coughs> now, here we are in the Polish section. Uh, as we know, Polish people live on sausages almost exclusively. <laughs> so lots of sausage and cheese, hot dogs. Now, this is one thing I noticed, guys. When you buy a bag of spinach here, it'll last more than a week. But when you go to Eastern Europe, it only lasts two days. That's because it's genetically modified. Okay, guys, I'm almost finished. Um, I'll let you into a little secret of mine. I don't like supermarkets very much. I don't know why I find them very charmless, to be honest and uh, all that annoying beeping sound and people trying to run you over in their trolleys.
Now, also, guys, I wanted to mention that in supermarkets in the UK, they have these loyalty cards and they have something called Smart Shop. I don't know what that is, but uh, I don't like these. The reason for that is I don't want people knowing uh, about my spending habits because in the future, maybe we'll have this uh, Chinese style social credit system and then we're going to be uh, punished for what we purchase because of carbon footprints and that kind of thing. So that was inside a British supermarket. I hope you enjoyed having a look around. Um, uh, leave me a comment to tell me how prices here in the UK compared to prices in your country. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!